Hello guys, my name is Ed, and uh, I'm making a let's play. I haven't want, done one in a long time. This is the original Far Cry on PC. Um, it's out on PC and on consoles if you guys want to play it. Uh, I'm going to play on easy because I've tried playing on the hardest difficulty and it was a pain in the ass. Um, this right here is the intro cinematic. You can always... Uh, skip this because they don't show anything really interesting they only show how you get to the island I guess it's, that's cool I guess Yeah, this is um, the original Far Cry, developed by Crytek, the guys behind Crisis and those games, and Rise to Son of Rome, and it's been published by Ubisoft. Okay. I'm guessing that's how I got there. I don't know. Um. Yeah, I decided to do this game because I was thinking I, I I should probably do a let's play of all the Far Cry games because right now Far Cry is what I'm digging. Is what I'm digging right now is Far Cry. Well, let's see. And like I said earlier, I'm playing on the easiest difficulty because I tried playing on on the hardest one. And the game was just annoying. And I didn't like it. I wasn't having fun. And to pass it, I had to like play super stealthy and super slow. Taking like five minutes just to clear out like a group of three guys. Nobody wants to watch that. I've gotta find a way out of here. So I'm just gonna make my way out of this thing, whatever it is. Like a bunker or something. World War II bunker. Just like in Far Cry 3. If you guys play Far Cry 3, you know that game is very heavy on the World War II stuff. That, I'm guessing it's a Japanese soldier. Yeah. A dead one. Alright. Listen, dirtbag. Keep an eye out for some punk in a red Hawaiian shirt. If you see him... Call me at once. Am I understood? Yes, yes, sir. I'm heading out. <laughs> the voice acting in this game is pretty terrible, so just bear with me. What's up, bro? I guess he didn't notice me. I'm the hardest difficulty that guy will always spot me. Hello? Are you there? Pick up the radio if you can hear this. I know you're there. I've been tracking you since you and Val arrived. Who are you? I'm the guy who's going to tell you how to survive. Call me Doyle. How do I know I can trust you? Well, for starters, how about the fact that I haven't turned you in? That radio has a bio-reader. Since I know you're there, I could have ratted you out already. Good point. Keep talking. Listen, you need to get out of there and quickly. I'll help you as much as possible, but you don't have much time. There's an exit that will lead to a small camp. Be careful as you go. This area is crawling with mercenaries. By the way, name's Jack Carver. Well, as you can see, the voice acting in this game is abysmal. It's terrible. My reports say you're in a red shirt. I suggest you grab some body armor and cover it, or you'll be easily spotted. Hey, some good news. I'm picking you up much more strongly now. I suggest okay. 
weapons and equipment. He man. Stay low and avoid contact if possible. You don't really want to alert the guards. Okay. But yeah, this game was made by the same guys that made Crisis, and you could tell that it, it was. It feels very similar to it, and uh, if I had the nano suit, you could tell that this game would play just like for Crisis, except you know with shitter graphics and stuff. Jack, I've been able to tie your compass in with the transceiver. This means that now I can supply you with a bearings marker. It should give you a rough idea of where to go, at least. Um, this game is very pretty, even for an old game. The only thing that it has that I don't really like is terrible popping. Look how this shit pops in. Whoop! See the trees pop in? It's really bad, but still a fun game to play. To survey the surroundings. Notice that they have a sound enhancer and movement. Dr. Trigger has fitted everyone on the island with locator signals that you can pack using the Binox. You can also tag enemies, and that makes them show up on your mini-map. If you don't tag them, they won't show up on your mini-map. Oh, that sucks. Let me go get some health. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, It's, you know, Far Cry 3, they do the same thing, but it's that after you spot the enemy, they show up like through the walls and stuff, which is kind of cheap. To try to acquire one of their vehicles and drive to the helicopter refueling pad. It's on the other side of the island. From there, you can use one of their boats to escape. So, there's a guy up here. Let's take him out first. Oh, I forgot to pick up the knife. You hear something? There he is! Oh, shit. What's up, bro? Just take your head out. I don't have a grenade. Oh, that's you right there. Dropped him. <laughs> What's up, bro? What's up, bro? How does the floor taste? Good? I wouldn't know, because you're the one. The mercenaries are trained to work together. If you alert one, they will bring others. Where is that guy? He's somewhere down here. He's looking for me. But what he doesn't know is that I'm looking for him. Um, The reason why I didn't want to play this on hardest difficulty is not because I couldn't do it. Because I could. The problem is, look how slow he crouches. It used to take too long for me to get from point A to point B, trying to be sneaky. And I don't think you guys want to play Crouching Simulator 2014, because I know I don't. Got him on the watchtower too. What's up, bro? This game would have been pretty cool if you had the uh, um, the uh, crisis powers. If you ask me, that would have been pretty sweet. It would have been like a um, crisis for people without good PCs. Um, I only paid ten dollars for this game, but I believe that you could actually download it for free. Because a while back, um, before I became a PC gamer. I heard there was a way for you to actually get the game for free. Got him. If you're wondering what that is, that's my watch. It's going off. Turn that shit off. Um, if you hear any noise in the background, I'm actually with people in my house. And sometimes they move and they make a noise. Or <laughs> that sounds funny. Or um the neighbors upstairs.